never give in. Never, never, never. Oh, but while we're talking about switches, we need to talk about the number eight. Oh, yes, yes. Now, the, the, the number eight was known as the anti-personnel switch, the AP. Uh, it was known to the British soldier as a castrator that was pushed into the grounding so that there's a large washer on the top that prevents it going in too far. And on top of that was a coil spring firing unit that used a spring from an umbrella called a gamp. And that's a little clip that holds the umbrella up when it's opened up. And on the top of this went a firing pin, and that whole assembly was dropped down the bottom of the tube, followed by this special rimless, pointed steel bullet. And that sat point above that washer. And the idea being that when you stood on it, it pushed the bullet down into the tube, released the firing pin, which was blown up into the primer with a very heavy spring, and that bullet would go straight through your boot, up your leg, and wherever else it decided to go. It was designed to keep the German population down post-war. That's what they said anyway. Now, these are switches which can be used to set up as booby trap. Okay. That is a pressure switch, right. blowing up railway lines or something like that. Mm -hmm. You can see that little plug. Mm -hmm. That is placed in the hole and any pressure fractures a hardened steel pin in there releasing the firing pin. Okay. The pin is hardened tempered to a known load. You would, in the nose there, it would have a an end like the time pencil sticking out from there onto which you could put your fuse onto the railway line. Then you'd scoop underneath the railway line, put that in, pack it up with the ballast so that the pin there was just resting against the railway line. Okay and lay your charges down the line and the vibration of the line would vibrate that pin, crack the doings and up would go the train. You have to remember though that the line vibrated ahead of the train. <laughs> so you had to put it down there and all went bang before the train went there. You looked for a steep bend, middle of a tunnel, where there was an embankment. If there was an embankment, blow the outside lines or the train would be thrown down the embankment and put the other rest in pieces be, be behind it. When these came over, our 90,000, uh, the first people to have the Thompson in this country were the OGS units. That's how important they were deemed to be in the defence of this country. Never mind the regular forces, never mind the commando, never mind the RAF, the Navy, anybody else, the OGS units. They were the first people to be armed with a submachine gun in this country. It's quite an achievement to have the old boy here, isn't it really? Great stuff.